My name is Elliot Schatzberger. Um, I'm a senior lecturer in law in the law and politics department here at Middlesex University. Um, I've been teaching here for about 10 years now and I teach a number of subjects. First and foremost in year one I teach contract law. Uh, that's with the year one students LLB and BA. And then in year two I teach business law which is a mixture of almost everything from criminal law to uh, negligence and all of that sort of stuff. And then in year three um, I teach my I suppose what we would call my specialist subject, which is land law, property law. Um, I used to be a criminal law barrister, criminal defence barrister, but it's nothing to do with that. Um, I've diversified much more academically into the property law side of things. And my area of research at the moment is based very much on landlord and tenant. And there's been some extremely interesting stuff going on with landlord and tenant. And I think what I didn't know at the time was that it was very much a precursor to the whole Brexit anti-immigration thing. It linked in absolutely unbelievably with that. Not that I knew it when I first started doing the research because what happened in 2014 was an Act of Parliament and the Act of Parliament was called simply the Immigration Act and it was an act to really start to rein in um, a lot of the illegal immigrants that Theresa May as Home Secretary was really concerned about. It wasn't really an act about landlords and tenants or property law at all but hidden away in the middle, which is what they tend to do, was a little tiny section giving landlords the obligation, the legal obligation, to check the immigration status of their tenants for the very first time ever in English law. Normally this is a job for border officials, for immigration officers, as you can well imagine. And it's been out there for employers for a very long time. Employers have had to do it for a while, but employers have enormous resources, they're professionals, they generally have legal teams behind them. So for them to check the immigration status of their employees, not so much of a problem. So for the very first time in 2014, we get this new Act of Parliament that is all about landlords, private landlords, simply private landlords checking the immigration status of their tenants, making sure that they have what's called the right to rent. All it means really is that they have the relevant permits to be in the UK, to, whether they're students, whether they're workers, whether they're, they're just here on holiday visas, but the onus is suddenly shifted to landlords. And what was really interesting was when this was going through the Houses of Parliament, and this was part of what I was researching, Theresa May came out as Home Secretary. And the first thing that she said was that, and I quote, she said, we want to make a really hostile environment for migrants. Hostile environment. And that really annoyed me, mainly because I don't think it's right for a politician to make anything hostile for anyone. It's the wrong word, it's the wrong terminology. And what she started to do was put forward this Act of Parliament that made it absolutely imperative for landlords to check the immigration status of their tenants with no training, no understanding, no knowledge of immigration paperwork and put this onus on them. The penalty, if they got it wrong, of £3,000 per tenant. So that was bad enough. They've now made it a criminal offence for landlords. So landlords face two years in prison for getting this wrong. So hence my area of research. I've written the first article about the first bit of the law. The second article is coming out at the end of this year, and that's where we're up to.